So what's up guys? This is uh, Zenworm and uh, this is my first GoPro video or at least I hope it will be because the last one that I tried to do the last two that I tried to do were uh, either the camera angle was way off or the audio was terrible uh, so I got a new mic and I'm hoping that the audio will be a little bit better but we'll see. Uh, so today, I'm on my Monster 1200S that I've had for about a year. And I'm actually going to go test ride a, well, hopefully test ride. I didn't call the dealer. I'm going to surprise them. Uh, I'm hopefully going to test ride a 959 Panigale. Uh, maybe a 1299 too, depending on what they have as far as a demo bike uh, and the reason I'm going to be test riding it is not just for fun although it will be fun it is because I'm thinking about getting a Panigale and it won't be uh, my first time on a Panigale I actually owned one before this bike I owned a Panigale for three years I rode an 1199 I actually commuted on it for three years uh, during the winter as well. I have heated gear, so I, I rode that thing. I put put a good number of miles on it. Do hope that I can make it to the dealer. I uh, I had some air in my uh, clutch line yesterday, and uh, had to pull over to the side of the road and and work it out for about 10-15 minutes. Uh, and finally got my clutch back, but it was uh, it was kind of scary. It just like uh, it was like stuck in gear. I couldn't go anywhere. Literally couldn't move the bike. I rebled it yesterday, and I think it's going to be okay. I hope. Neutral feels good. Um, Losing, uh, yep, there he goes. There goes my clutch again. Shit. What is the f is happening? Is thing leaking? Shit, dude. All right, well, here we are again. Lost my clutch. I just don't know if it's gonna happen again because it's it's definitely scary when it does but uh all right so this is a 959 the 959 Panigale it's been a while since I've been on a Panigale and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now right off the bat it feels good I used to ride at 1199 so I'm gonna give this a little bit to warm up I'm not gonna let it up oh, there it goes 106 okay so I used to ride at 1199 so this feels very familiar to me um, and in many ways, this is probably pretty comparable to my 1199. So, uh, very first impressions. Uh, out of the gate, uh, the riding position feels great. Like, I've missed this. I've missed it. super good so you, you definitely you know compared to the monster you kind of sit in the monster you definitely sit more on top of this and more forward I mean it's a sports bike right don't come over
she's not bad. Uh, this is not the right way. Yeah, she just does not have that low end grunt. Brakes feel pretty good. I gotta go, I gotta go way far back, get off, and I'll get into the city a little bit and uh, talk about how it feels there and talk about the differences between this and the 1299. And the brakes definitely feel good. She feels real planted. I am uh, flat footed. Alright, I'm gonna pull over and figure out where the hell I am. Like, I know where I'm at, but I don't quite know how to get back. Oh, that's a big bottle. Let's see. Oh, I found neutral pretty easy, which is no, no easy feat on a, on a Ducati. Did the guy behind me just honk? I don't know what the fuck that was all about. Hey, the gas light went off. Sweet. So if I do get a 959, I think I would get the white one. The matte finish is pretty cool. Um, the red wheels are pretty cool. So I'm sitting at a stoplight and uh, the heat's not too bad. And it's a, it's a fairly warm day in Nashville. It's not, the, it's not the warmest, it's still spring. It's not the most humid. The heat that's coming off is no more than my monster, so that's good. Uh, it just, it feels so good to lean this bike over. I mean, I'll tell you that much right now versus my monster, like, I know for sure that uh, getting rid of the monster is the right thing to do for me. I have missed this so much. Now oh, the gaslight came back on. Wait. 65 north, 65 south. Where the hell? Where is that? Uh, I'm gonna go this way. Oh yeah, those brakes are good. Those brakes are good. Good brakes. So far, I'm enjoying her. She's she's fun she's fun um as fun as my 1199 yeah um she feels a little bit more refined and in some ways i guess more can you know more restrained than the 1199 it's to be expected here we go in typical nashville Nashville traffic. This is around lunchtime. Um, and the clutch is, you know, it's fine. I never had a problem with the clutch on the 1199, honestly. Oh yeah, that second gear surging. Gotta love that. All right, let's give her a tad of gas. Not too much because. Um, you know, it's not my bike. I don't want to be spending my money. Wow, that uh, kickstand is a lot easier to find. Yeah, overall, it's fun, and I, I would enjoy it more than my Monster 1200 right now. I think it's just more of what I'm looking for. It's just more fun to ride. And all right, lady, I'm going first. It just feels so planted even at slow speeds versus my monster. Like, I like the monster, but man, this is a cool bike. This is a cool bike. So why am I considering the 1299S? Well, first of all, uh, don't do it. Nope. No, no, no. 
I don't want to always be wondering what if. What if I had gotten the 1299? What if I had that, that extra power? And the low end on this thing is not super exciting. It is not, oh god, that was a huge bump. It's not super exciting. And the 1199, I remember the, the lower revs were just as fun as the, well, not just as fun, the higher revs on the 1199 were fear inducing. Oh, that guy just ran that light. Welcome to Nashville. It was it was fear inducing those those higher ends. Uh, but you the the flip side of that is at the lower end. Am I still rolling? Shit. Am I dying? I'm dead. Am I dead? Am I dead or am I still rolling? I don't know. I think I'm still rolling. The lower end was so amazing. So it was a trade off. On this, I feel like the higher end would would be fun, but the lower end is not just not doing it for me. Um, that being said, it feels very refined and very easy to ride. I'm not struggling with it at all. It's not biting me on anything. It feels great. Uh, but so the 1299, why, why not the 1299? Well, if I'm going to go up and get the big boy, I had the Monster S and I enjoy having the, the extra goodies. So the, the little extra upgrades, well not the little, but all the extra upgrades on the 1299S, again, if I if I am gonna go up to the big boy, I'm gonna be, I don't wanna always be going like, ah, oh, and what if I had gotten the S? A lot of the stuff, like the wheels, on the street, it really doesn't matter. But I do like the LED upgrade and the adaptive suspension, I think, in my research, I think that would be better on the street than in the than uh, on the track, which is you know I'm gonna be on the street 95% of the time. Um, so the adaptive suspension I think could be kind of cool, um, and you know you get the gold forks and whatever. So I don't know. It's like if I'm gonna get the 1299, I might as well go big. I love those brakes. I love them. So, yeah. <clears throat> Low end is not as fun. I mean, it's still fun. Don't get me wrong. And, uh, maybe the 1299 would just get me into more trouble. I don't know. And here's the other thing, too. Like, I, I, so if I got the 959, I would get the white. Because I want something different. I started way back in the day on a black monster. But I had a red 1199. And I do kind of feel like, you know, I have a red monster right now. And I do kind of feel if you're going to have a Ducati, red's the Ducati color. The white is nice. The white with the red wheels, pretty nice. But there's something about it in red that is just, it's, uh, it's sex appeal, you know? I want to look at it and I want to drool over it. And while I like this color, the white and the red wheels, I think it's cool. I think it's kind of badass. I don't think I'm gonna look at it and like drool over it like I did with my 1199. I'm not gonna look at it and just go, oh my God. I'm gonna look at it and go, and that's cool, that's tight. I like it, but there's a difference. Like, you know, it's interesting, like really liking something and really loving something. Um, and I just don't want to have, you know, I want to have a bike for many years that I'm, you know, going to be in love with looking at every day. And not necessarily just be like, oh, yeah, man, it's cool, it's cool, I like it, I like it. I want to be like, no, I want to have sex with this thing, you know? Which is my, that's how I was with the 1199. I may have actually done it a few times. Had sex with it. Not really. But maybe. I think that's my impression so far is like, I, I just don't know. I think I'm gonna have to go for the big boy. And if I'm gonna go for the big boy, I'm gonna go for the S to make sure I have all the goodies. Um, and I do think now that I've sat on the, the white and, and ridden it, I do think the red is for me. Oh, and so like, why not why not the red 959? Well, the clear coat that they use on it uh, is different than the 1299. This is in the research that I've done. Uh, either it's different or they, don't put a clear coat on it or something or it's softer something about it is not not the same and so a lot of people getting the red 959 are getting a third party like 
coating on it to protect it because the paint will just get screwed up. Um, and so, again, that's just one of those things that I, I don't want to have to deal with that. I don't want to have to deal with, like, I just I don't want to have to worry about the paint. So that's why not the, the Red 959. And again, it's a power thing. And I know somebody's watching this and going, but you're going 25 miles an hour in city traffic. Why, what do you need the extra power for? But I use the extra power sometimes. I'm gonna go out and carve the, the canyons, the twisties. We don't have canyons in Tennessee. I mean, sort of do. Uh, I'm, you know, I, I want that low end runt. And as refined and as nice as this feels, not getting that low end grunt that I that I missed from the I guess we'll see what happens. I, I'll do another video of riding the monster and just kind of like thoughts and feelings about it. But for now, I'm going to sign off and uh, I'll update you soon with uh, what I decide. All right, peace.